Hello. Hello. How, How are, are you? you? I am. I am okay. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on a birthday card. <laughs> oh, okay. So I was entertaining myself. <laughs> That's always good. Yeah. So what do you want to do today? I was just anything that pops in. Okay. Um, hopefully, like I said, that part is new. Just bringing whoever through. We'll see. But yeah. if you want to, if you want to speak to someone specific, you know, a name or a picture would work. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't know. I don't know who's going to come through and hopefully bringing. I noticed too, bringing people in like this, sometimes I get more people in the chat being like, oh, that's me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not focused on one. Like, I'm not dialing direct this way. Like, I need a, I need a name or a picture to dial direct so I can dial direct your loved ones. But this way, it's just kind of whoever's around you sort of thing. Yeah. Um, I hope. <laughs> I don't know. It's new. It's new. I'm I'm fumbling <laughs> through the the just picking up whoever's there, but that's good practice. Okay, so I think there's a male around you that's like pretty strong, and there's a reference to my neck. Does that make sense? Uh, not really yet. Okay. Um, I don't know why my neck. It like I said, it can be an element. It can be a a symptom or whatever, but there's a reference to this part of my neck. So it can't just be something that someone dealt with or what. I'm not really sure, but the neck is hurting. My neck is actually hurting really bad right now. Um, Cause I know my neck, well, not my neck, but my throat has been hurting for a few years. Okay. This is like on the side, almost like a soft tissue kind of okay. feeling. Like it's all right here. Um, and that could be, I mean, like I said, it can be a symptom, an ailment related it to or not. Been my grandpa. Does that it make sense for your grandpa. grandpa? Your grandpa? It might have been. Okay. Um, maybe if we get in more, we'll see who it is. Because I do feel male, it's weird because normally sometimes I have a hard time telling the gender, but there is a male that's really strong around you. Hmm. Um, like he's got that really strong male energy. I don't know too much about my family's history. Okay. Could it be my dad? Because I don't know if he's still alive or not. Um, I mean, it could be. We'll see. Do you know? Are you able to validate anything? Uh, for grandpa. Because uh, I'm getting military. Yeah, my grandpa was in like the military. Okay, because I was seeing flying jets, which is which is normally my my military symbol. With that. I have that and a couple other ones, but that's usually a military symbol. Um, so it's probably your grandpa is what yeah. I'm leaning towards because I'm getting the military symbol. <sighs> Do you know if he has anything with the head? Because my headache just got stronger. Um, as far as I know, was dementia. Okay, dementia has to do with the head. Okay. The brain. So, um, that could be why. I mean, because something goes on with the brain when they start forgetting, right? So. Yeah. And I think he had Alzheimer's as well. Right. So that's what spirit does is it will sometimes reference like certain parts of my body and it may not be that they actually had a lot of headaches or anything, but it's just they're referencing my head area. It's kind of hard to explain sometimes. Um, and sometimes I don't even know what it means. 
It's like charades. Did you spend um like were you pretty close with him when you were when you were younger? Yeah, like when I was like from a baby. Yeah, this is like when you're tiny. Cuz he's yeah. been has he been gone a while? Yeah. He passed away early March of 2020. Okay. Um but so you were with him when you were a baby but as time went on as you grew up there was distance, right? Like, you didn't yeah. see him as much, and you weren't around as much? Like, I lived with him my whole life because of my mom. Okay. But was there a time where you were more distant? Like, um, I don't know how to explain this. Like, I don't feel like you're, like, way far away, but I feel like maybe you weren't as close to him. And that could be the dementia, but... um. Like, maybe you didn't spend as much time with him? Yeah, yeah. like in the right. last couple of years. Okay. I wasn't as close. Right. Because that's kind of what that's kind of what I'm kind of leaning towards is that it feels like you, you got to a point where you got really busy or something and you couldn't spend as much time with him as you, as you would like to. Yeah. Did you, did you used to take care of him, though? Uh, yeah, like, when my grandma was working, like, I would have to watch over him. Okay. And did you, you kind of uh, slowed down your life and kind of came back and started taking care of him, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so, he says the word, he says the word lost. And okay. that could mean, like, um... Like, he just felt lost because he didn't really understand what was going on around him. I don't know if he actually got lost one time. <laughs> because, uh, I, I think he did get lost. I think right. we were at a mall. Okay. Or a Costco or something. I was going to say because he makes me feel like he actually got lost. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I was wandering around aimlessly trying, trying to figure out who I was and where I was, you know, where I was at. Mm -hmm. So... He laughs about it now. It wasn't as funny at the time, but he's like, I was lost for a little bit, you know? Yeah. And he he comes across as a very kind person, but also he, he could be funny. There's yeah, moments he, he, was, he was funny guy. Yeah. He did a lot of jokes, like at restaurants. Like he would yeah. hit on the waiters and waitresses. Yeah. Like, like, a kinda, like a prankster kind of, like a prankster kind of guy. Yeah, that's how he comes across. Like, he's kind of funny and a little bit of a prankster, like, before he got sick. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm getting chills all right here. So, he's pretty strong, actually. And he's yeah. very much strong around you. Like, super strong around you. Because I don't normally pick up spirits around people like that. So, he's... And that's because you were everything to him. You were like a daughter to him. More yeah. than just a granddaughter, you were a daughter. And that's how he looked yeah. at you. Um, yeah. I'm getting the chills again. And he took me everywhere when I was little. Right. And that's what shows me that you guys, do you guys used to go for ice cream and like little outings like that, stuff like that? Yeah. He shows me and, we went, and we went to the mall and like uh, one of the malls here, they have the carousel. Okay. Yeah. Because he's, so he shows me, I don't know why he shows me an ice cream, but I get that sometimes, especially with, with grandpas and, and granddaughters for some reason. Like, it's like something they like to do together. Um, yeah. So I don't know if you had a specific ice cream place that you guys went to, but he seems to miss yeah. ice cream. <laughs> yeah, we used to because we used to live in Pennsylvania. And there's this ice cream shop called Hank's Ice Cream. And we would always go there. But they would be closed on Tuesdays. Was there a time when he wasn't recognizing you? Uh, like towards the end. Yeah, because he's like, I, um, I know it hurt her that I some I didn't recognize her. Like that was really hard on her. But I feel yeah. like uh, you would you would be very patient with him and remind him who you were. 
you know, like mm-hmm. it's me, you know, it's Katie. Yeah. I'm your, I'm your, and it was weird when I was doing the other reading, I kept hearing the word, I kept hearing your name, Katie. Oh. So, and I don't know, um, did he have like a little nickname for you or something? Did he short? Uh, short? I think so. Cause like, it was like Kate or Scooter. Cause he's talking about a nickname. Yeah. My nickname was Scooter when I was a baby. Okay. Because I didn't know how to crawl. So I scooted with my head. <laughs> there you go. So that was his thing. That's the nickname he's talking about then. Um, he shows me like med- medication bottles. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know if he was on a lot of medication, but he like didn't like to take them. Yeah. And he felt like he was kind of. He feels he felt like he was kind of a burden at one point because it was like, um, you know, he, he was a very independent person and a very mm-hmm. proud person, you know, as most military men are. And he didn't want he didn't like that everybody had to uh, take care of him. And, yeah. you know, he says, treat me like a baby. Yeah, I have witnessed it. Um, but he is thankful that you, you did all those things for him. Like it meant a lot to him that you were there for him and he needed you to be there for him. And, um, he says he sees everything that you, you did for him now, like at the time, you know, he was, it was kind of a fog Then maybe he didn't tell you thank you and all that because of his illness, but he wants to say thank you to you now. He says, thank you for being the beautiful person that you have always been. And the most loving, he wants to say daughter instead of granddaughter because he thinks of you as, as a daughter. Okay. Here's some random bugs over there. Um, Did he used to, when you were younger, like show you things like, um, show you how to fix things or make things I keep seeing or like teach you things because I, I keep seeing like him showing you something and um, I really don't know what you're doing, but whatever he was doing, you were right there with him basically. And he was like showing you how to basically survival skills, I guess <laughs> is the word I want to, <laughs> is the word I want to say. Um, Cause I know like, he's referencing like the kind of relationship I had with my grandpa or I was with him kind of all the time. And like, we would go outside and we would hunt lizards and then, you know, horny toads or whatever is what we call them. And then we'd have them and then we'd let them go. But then we'd also, if there was something that he needed to teach me, like he would teach me. Like that's what he's showing me. I don't remember it. No, you're probably young, but that's why he's, yeah. that's what he's showing me. Like it was like you were his little shadow. <laughs> um, because I see him like going in and here you are coming, coming around behind him. And, um, okay. I think this is when I was waiting for my school bus to pick me up and we would wait outside mm-hmm. with my childhood dog, Shushi, who I had at the time. And we would always play shadow. Oh, shadow. Okay. So it's symbolic. But it's like with the whole shadow thing, he shows me, um, he keeps showing me like you guys messing with something. Hmm. Like him trying to teach you how to fix something. Like if something was, I don't know, he's messing with something. I don't don't know if maybe he just messed with it and you watched over him. You know what I mean? Like he would fix things and you would watch over him. It's kind of like that. Hmm. Um. So I don't know why he's bringing up Jello. Like, oh. Did he have? <laughs> and I'm sitting here like, why are you showing me Jello? But I'm guessing there's a good reason for it from your reaction. <laughs> 
we would always go to this restaurant called Libby Lou's that used to be a superstition in Scottsdale Fashion Score Mall, and he, he would always get jello, and I would get jello too. But I think I like to play with my jello and oh, eat it. Oh, okay. All right. So just, just a memory and validation of, of him talking about that. Um, that's hilarious. <laughs> I didn't think some, so that's what I talk about, like something so simple can mean so much. Mm -hmm. He keeps showing me his uniform. So I don't know, I don't know where his uniform is or what. I see it hanging up somewhere. Um, I don't know. If my grandma I don't know if someone kept it. it. It's hanging up. I don't know. I, it's like I see his military uniform with plastic over it and hanging in a closet somewhere. Maybe grandma has it, but I'm never seen that okay um so if you ever find out just let me know because it's he's talking about it um okay and i don't know why he's showing me boxes so boxes could be that you boxed up his stuff or that there's a move somewhere mm. I think we might have boxed some stuff up. Okay. I know people took some stuff. Or it could have been when we were moving. Okay. Could be multiple me. I just keep seeing boxes. Which is my symbol for either or of those. Um, he just said, can you just tell her that I love her? And I love her so much. Aww. He says you were his entire world. Yeah, I was one of the special grandkids. Yeah. <laughs> but you like he said, you're more than a grandkid. You were like his kid. Um, yeah. And you guys had a special bond. And yeah, he says, it, I understand the times that she had in her life when she wasn't there because she was busy and living her life. And we all know how that feels. But, and I'm getting the chills again. But... Mm -hmm. Um, she was my heart and soul is what he says and she always took care of me she always made sure I was taken care of and that means so much to me and so he's you know he's sorry about the I mean he just wants you to know that he, he knew you were there even though at the time you were wondering you know if he knew that you, you did everything for him and that you were around and all of that. I mean, in a way he knew and he knows now. Yeah. So, um, he's saluting you. He's giving you a salute. Because I feel like when he was in the military, like, he was a, a regular military guy. Like, it seems, he, that was the first thing he came in with. So, it seemed to be an important part of his life. He was very proud of it. He was a very proud veteran. Did he yeah. even have something that said veteran on it? I think so, but I don't know much of that okay. part. Okay. Because it's almost like, you know how people have the license plate that say veteran or something on their car that said veteran? I don't know if at mm -hmm. one point he had that. Or he's he just could've. he's just talking, you know, just saying he's a proud veteran. But it's, if you ever find out, let me know, because that's something that he's, like, super proud of. But he's saluting you. He says, keep shining bright. He's very, very, very much around you. So he sends you random, random coins. Stop, cat. Random <laughs> coins like like pennies and, and dimes and things like that. Like I see you picking up random pennies and dimes that come out of nowhere off the floor. Yeah, I do that. Those are from him. Okay. Then you're like, well, where'd this penny come from? Where did this dime come from? Mm -hmm. That's his way of helping you out. <laughs> <laughs> One penny and dime at a time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like he knows it's not much, but, you know, it's just his way of letting you know he's around. But he's he's very, like, strong around you. Mm -hmm. Like, I haven't felt anybody this strong around anybody ever. So, yeah. of course, this, this whole part of me doing this is kind of new, but, <laughs> but still, he's super <laughs> strong around you. So I hope that was helpful for you. It was. Good.
thank you for coming on, Katie, and for being a loyal sub. I always see you on the live. It's always nice to see you. Yeah, and I knew when he was going to pass away. Yeah, we can, we sometimes do have that feeling, don't we? Yeah, and I knew the time frame, too. I think it's a way to prepare us because I knew when my grandpa was going to go, too. Um mm -hmm. I always, I said like the end of February, like the very end of February and he passed on the 28th. So it's like, we yeah. kind of, we kind of know and have that feeling. Yeah. I knew five years prior. Yeah. It's just a way of, of kind of preparing you the best that they can. But as you yeah. know, he has not left you. He has not left you. He's, in, he's very much around you and he's always going to be around you. He's always going to see those important moments in your life. They don't ever leave us, obviously, you know. No. I hope this was helpful and, and you had. It was. I had a, I think he was coming through with a little bit. He didn't do coins, did he? <laughs> uh, I know he collected like the coins that you. Yeah. The sell. ones that you, you sell. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It was probably him. Cause I, cause when I was talking to the, the Allie's grandmother, I kept filling the mm -hmm. coins belonging to a male. And so he was yeah. kind of coming in before he was supposed to. <laughs> yeah, he always. He was very eager. He was very eager to talk to you, basically. Very <laughs> eager. So he was probably bringing in the coins because it didn't really fit with her. So I think he was bringing in the coins for you just because yeah. he knew you were next. Yeah. He's well, like, I can't still wait. Have some, I think. Here's the coins. <laughs> so, yeah. and I was going to ask you about that again, but I was like, huh. But yeah, because I kept feeling a man around it. So I think that was just his way of popping in a little early and interrupting. <laughs> Not being patient. <laughs> yeah. But that just shows how much he wanted to talk to you. So. Yeah. Awesome. All right, Katie, thank you. You're welcome.